Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I thought I would just take you through my travel sizes and my mini fragrances because that's something I've never done before and I've got quite a few new ones in the last little bit and some of them are ones I've never talked about before so if you're interested in seeing um, what some of my lesser talked about little miniature size perfumes are then stay tuned and also if you haven't already subscribed definitely consider heading on down and hitting the big red button so that you don't miss any future content. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we get into all of my roller balls and minis, I just thought I would show you guys where I keep them. So usually I keep samples, minis, um, and anything else that I'm kind of experimenting with in these little containers. So I have a ton of samples in here. Um, some of them are just basic ones from you know, just like designer ones. I actually have a lot of men's ones in here as well. I have a couple of like niche ones and somewhere around here I also have some other ones. Like I have Tom Ford, Vinnie Faitel, um, Replica Lipstick On. Um, here's my little sample of Love Tuberose from Amouage that I tried. I also have, um, oh sorry, that's Love Tuberose. This one is this one is Lilac Love. Actually, maybe I'll talk about this one in today's video as well. We'll put that one to the side. But I usually just keep samples around that I either want to continue coming back to, and I also have some that I don't really care to keep, and I'm probably just gonna gift them to people. So I have quite a few that I've accumulated. I just haven't taken the time to go through them and decide which ones I really wanna keep or not. Um, but I keep them in just little decorative boxes, whatever kind of decorative boxes I happen to have around. And then I keep all of those inside a shoe box, a bigger shoe box. So, and then within a shoe box, we have another box. <laughs> and it just works perfectly to hold my little boxes of samples. And they all, of course, stay in my closet when I'm not using them. So that is my storage of my little samples. And now let's get into my minis and my decants. So you guys, oh, before we even start, you guys might have noticed that my last two videos, I haven't been wearing nail polish. I'm trying to go a little bit more au natural and more holistic um, currently and just try to use less um, abrasive things on my nails, which includes nail polish remover because I've noticed that the ends of my nails are getting more brittle because I never used to wear nail polish this often or switch it out this often. And now that I am, I'm noticing it's really taking a toll on my nails and I'm just trying to be better to my body right now. So if you don't see nail polish on for a little bit, that would be why. So let's talk about um, Amouage Love Lilac Love. This one, you guys, if you don't remember, I talked about wanting a bottle of this because I saw a few people talk about it, specifically Melissa Jean. Um, she had mentioned she got it and she really liked it. I really like this scent actually, you guys, but I don't know if I love it enough to buy a full bottle of it. But if you do like it, you can find it for really inexpensive on a lot of discount sites. Um, this essentially smells like lilac, well lilac obviously, and cocoa powder. It's like a chocolatey, powdery lilac. It's actually really beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful scent. But when I got this decant, I also got my decant of Love Tuberose, and that was the one that I really fell in love with, and that's why I have a full bottle of that one. Really, really nice. By the way, if you guys are looking for a good place to get decants, um, I got this from Lucky Scent and they're a United States company. I think they're based in California and they do ship to Canada and the US. So I highly, highly recommend them. In this little um, travel sized decant, a good friend of mine who is also a perfume lover sent me a decant of French Kiss from Guerlain and I don't have the notes of any of these in front of me, but this is basically a really soft, um, sort of a cashmere, cozy, warm, very feminine scent. It smells exactly like the name would imply. It smells like a cozy kiss, kind of. Um, I'll try to put bottles on the screen for you guys so you can kind of see what they would look like, but I really like this. Um, she often will send me decants of things that I, I end up not wearing all of them or like they're really nice, but they're maybe just not my favorite thing. So I haven't purchased a full bottle of this and I don't, I don't know if I will, but it's beautiful. And this is more from like Guerlain's more high-end line. Um, and I don't think you can really go wrong with Guerlain. I, I'm a huge fan of Guerlain and I have yet to smell something that disappoints me. We also have a travel size of Alien. This is actually the method by which I fell in love with Alien because I had this one in my house. I blind purchased it. I didn't like it at the time that I had it, but I actually wore this one for like an evening date. And by the end of the night, I was in love with it. So I still have almost a full, um, 
travel size of Alien for Mugler, and I just kind of keep it on hand because it's perfect, obviously, for travel. And this is one of my favorite all-time perfumes, as you guys know. This is a little sample of Kaeli Musk, a 10 ml travel size. I absolutely love these little bottles. How cute are they? This came with the um, Discovery set, and I'm just keeping this for travel again because I have a large bottle of this one. I also have a little 10 ml Discovery set of Vanilla 28, which, as you guys know, is also one of my favorite vanilla perfumes one of my favorite perfumes in general and I do have a large bottle of this in my closet so again I'm just keeping this one for travel purposes I may as well do all the Kaylee's while I'm thinking about it and this is the Kaylee citrus and this is actually a really lovely um, musky rose scent and I think there's oak moss in this as well it's kind of got like a green earthy um, undertone to it and it's primarily like a citrusy or, or a citrusy rose and it's beautiful you guys it's really really nice my only complaint is it doesn't last a very long time so I haven't invested in a full bottle of it but I actually should keep this one out because I don't have a full bottle and I do want to kind of see if this is something that I will wear so I'll just stick that one in there um, the next one that we have is from MFK and this is um, Low a la Rose and I got this one when I purchased, uh, which one did I buy? I think I bought Backers 540, yeah I did, directly from the company and um, this was included in the box as a complimentary and this is basically just a really gorgeous fresh true rose scent. Very feminine, very soft, very pretty, very sophisticated. Um, it's beautiful. I don't know if it's full bottle worthy for me because I don't tend to wear a lot of fresh true rose scents. Um, probably the closest I have to that is Chloe, um, Chloe Absolute de Parfum, but that one also has a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of patchouli, so it's like a little bit different, where this one is like a true basic rose scent. But I'm going to keep this one out because I don't have a full bottle and I should wear it and see if it's something that I like. So the next travel size that I have is a travel size of Kenzo World Power. You guys know how much I love, love, love this perfume. This is one of my favorites. It was one of my best blind buys this year. And this one is basically salty um, tonka bean, salty tonka bean and cypress. So it smells very like a um, little bit masculine. It's got that like foresty cypress sort of note to it that would typically be a very masculine type of scent. But then it combines it with this gorgeous salt and this sweet sort of nutty vanilla tonka bean smell. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I love it. So I'm keeping this one. I don't even know if I'll use this for travel because I don't know if this would be like my ideal traveling perfume, but I do have a little um, travel size regardless. So I'm keeping that one. The next one I have is a travel size of Olympia from Paco Rabanne, which again is one of my favorite perfumes. The next one is another decant from my friend, and this is from Anique Goutel. And this one is called Nuit et Confidence. And this is really, really nice, you guys. And actually, um, I do have a little decant of Spiritus Double Vinny from Guerlain, which one of my wonderful, wonderful subscribers sent me. Thank you so much, Yvonne, if you're watching. Um, so anyways, this is a very close dupe for Spiritus Double Vinny. If you guys are looking for it, it's by Guerlain. It's very expensive. It's like $307 for a bottle. It's always sold out. I have such a hard time finding it. This is a very, very close um, fragrance to Spiritus Double Vinny, and I think it's a little bit less expensive. It's still a little bit up there in price, and this is basically a super sweet, um, sort of a caramel vanillic fragrance. I don't have the notes in front of me, but it literally smells like candy. It smells like vanilla candy, so not in a bad way. It doesn't smell like candy, um, like sickeningly sweet. It's just a very sweet delicious, sexy vanilla kind of a scent. And this is actually the little sample of Spiritus Double Vanille. I was so silly when I got this. I didn't know what SDV stood for and I thought maybe it was a typo or like I thought maybe the sticker ended up there by mistake because it was kind of falling off. So I actually thought this was um, Champs, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Champs Elysis, Elysis from Guerlain and I loved it because of course this is Spiritus Double Vanille and I thought it was the Guerlain one. So you guys, I ordered the Champs Elysis, however you say it, from Guerlain. And so now I have a bottle of, this huge bottle of Guerlain <laughs> that I'm not gonna wear, because that's what I thought 
that it was. So anyway, this is Spiritus Double Vene. Beautiful, you guys. At this point in time, it's not in my budget to go out and get it. Um, it's always sold out anyways. But I do, I have to say this is gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful vanilla scent. Like, if I purchase another vanilla in the future, this is definitely on my wish list. The next decant that I have is actually from Parfums de Marly. This is Delina Exclusif. The only reason I have this one is because I got this one a few months ago. Um, before actually purchasing a full bottle of Delina Exclusif, and I should really keep it out and just use it up because there's no purpose for it sitting in my shoebox because I love this perfume. It's one of my favorites. So I will keep this one out as well, actually. And the last one from my little shoe boxes is my Kaali Rollerball. So I won't spend too much time talking about my Kaali Rollerball because this one is fairly new and I have discussed it at length already. Um, so we have one end is the vanilla... 28 and one end is the musk and I actually really like this it lasts a really long time and I like the rollerball concept because you can layer them one on top of each other and you can kind of roll them into each other and really mix them together which I really like so now we'll go through the last of my rollerballs and minis which obviously I don't have very many because I do try to get full-size perfume bottles um, and these ones I actually did feature in a recent haul video for the most part, so I won't spend too much time talking about them individually, but if you're new to my channel or if you didn't see that video, then maybe this will be of some interest to you. So, um, also this little container, I've talked about this so many times lately. This is a new purchase for me. I got it from a Winners when I was in the city recently, and it was the perfect little addition to my bedroom to hold my rollerballs and minis. Um, it's just so pretty and I just like having a place to like house my minis on my dresser so that it reminds me to wear them. So I thought that was so cute. So without too much further ado, let's quickly go through these guys. So the first one is Clean Skin from Clean Reserve. And this is one of the musky fragrances that I talked about in my recent musk video. I love this scent. I just don't wear it very often because it reminds me of what my boyfriend smells like or like what a man smells like because to me it smells very um true musky it smells like clean musky skin it's kind of sweet it has praline in it it has musk obviously i'm not even sure what all the other notes it only has like five notes it's a very simple fragrance but it literally just smells like clean sweet skin and we have a couple from joe malone um so again i won't talk about them too much because i did just discuss them in my haul this is the wood sage and sea salt i'm pretty sure most of you have heard of this or know what it smells like and this is just a really nice salty kind of an earthy woody scent it's very pretty i don't know if it's really me um just an inoffensive nice everyday perfume and i can see why it's so popular because it is really pleasant and we also have the peony and blush suede and this one again is a really hot seller and this one's a little bit on the more floral sweet side it's not really my vibe to be honest but that being said I haven't given it a fair chance to wear it to see if I'll really like it and then we have a beautiful rollerball of the seven virtues vanilla woods i like this one you guys when i did my haul video I, I think i told you i wasn't interested in buying a full bottle of this because i found it too close to michael kors midnight shimmer however that being said this one has a strong caramel note and this is really sweet and intoxicating and sexy actually so i do really like this one i'm definitely going to um try to use up this rollerball and i actually did order a 50 ml bottle of this it's really beautiful it's one of the nicest vanillas my next one is actually from bath and body works and this one i had also talked about in my recent haul this is called into the night and this one i believe is an amber and sweet berries scent it's amber sweet berries and i can't remember what the other notes are but this is actually a really nice kind of a sparkling um like nighttime perfume i could wear this to a party like a christmas party i definitely see this being perfect for the holidays it's, it does have kind of a bath and body works kind of a feel to it like it doesn't smell super expensive but i was impressed by it more than a lot of the other bath and body works scents so yeah this one is quite nice it still is kind of bath and body works it smells like bath and body works but i thought you know what for the price it was only 13 dollars. we'll see i haven't had a chance to wear it i haven't even tried it on my skin yet but that one is pretty nice as well so that is into the night and the last travel size that i have is from killian and this is princess by killian and i got this little 10 ml spray because they didn't have a large bottle and i'm actually really glad that i didn't end up buying a large bottle because 
as I've told you guys before in my other video, the performance on this isn't what I was hoping it would be or expected it to be, especially for Killian and for the price. I do have other Killian fragrances that are much, much stronger and longer lasting. Although I love the scent of this, I do not love the performance on it at all. I actually, the first night that I wore it, you can see that I sprayed a good 10% of the bottle because I just felt like, I felt like no matter how much I sprayed it, I wasn't getting enough. <laughs> so yeah, kind of disappointed with that one. So I'm kind of keeping it out here just for the purposes of wearing it up and using it up and then I will not be repurchasing that one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these back. So that is about it you guys for my roller balls and my travel sizes and all of my mini. So it's not a huge extensive collection obviously, um, but I do, like I say, tend to prefer larger full size bottles. And um, usually when I end up with minis or travel sizes, it's as a complimentary gift or something like that, or it's like, I just wanna try it out before I buy a full size bottle. And yeah, so that's about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed. If you haven't already, do head on over and follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of things I don't share here on YouTube, like outfits of the day, sense of the day, and other little tidbits of my life. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.